This presentation relates to the NEA2 research. The NEA2 consists of five sections. Section A is researching the task and is worth six marks, and that is what I'll be concentrating on in the next slides. This slide shows the marking criteria used by teachers when marking the NEA2 research section. So students should analyse the task by re explaining the research requirements, carry out relevant research and analysis related to the life stage, dietary group or culinary tradition, identify a range of dishes, e.g. by mind mapping or using annotated images, and select and justify a range of technical skills to be used in the making of different dishes. So to get maximum marks, here is a description of what you need to do. So the research needs to be relevant. In other words, do not waffle, keep to the task. It needs to be concise and accurate. It needs to show a detailed understanding of your task. And also you need to select a varied range of relevant dishes, closely refre reflecting the research and the chosen task. So here is an example of a task analysis. Plan, prepare, cook and present a range of healthy and nutritious dishes that would appeal to a family with a limited food budget. So this is the task given. So you need to carry out a task analysis. So you pluck out the important words there. So plan, prepare, cook, present healthy dishes, nutritious dishes, appeal, family and limited food budget, and just give a definition of each of them. I've included the task title again, and also a section from the marking criteria. So the research needs to relate to the task. So ensure you use good sources, good books, credible websites to get your information for the research and show off your scientific knowledge using technical terms. The title here talks about healthy and nutritious dishes. So the student has written about unhealthy fats and sugars and how they can impact your health. So this is something that's been included in the research. This was also included in the student's research. Again, because it was looking at healthy and nutritious dishes, the student has looked at the eight tips for healthy living and also the Eat Well Guide and has used that to help her to decide which meals would be suitable for this family with a limited budget. It's recommended that you write a link between the research and the selected dishes. So you want to write something like I've got here. The research highlights the importance of the types of ingredients that are suitable for a family, including children, on a low budget, looking for meals which are nutritious and healthy. I have considered the cost of ingredients and the nutritional value when selecting dishes. As I would like to do complex dishes for my final dishes to challenge myself, I will ensure I carry out high level technical skills. So this is just an example. Here I've included 12 technical skills that you can include when you're writing up your coursework. I will also put the link to these down below. You can see that S1, S relates to skill, is food preparation skills, accurate weighing and cooking times. And I will show you later on as to where you can insert these. So the marking criteria, select a varied range of relevant dishes closely reflecting the research and chosen task. Again, I've put the task up above there and you can see that this student has inserted pictures of dishes. They haven't made the dishes, but they've inserted them. They have given reasons why they have chosen these dishes. Try not to include too many pasta dishes. Try to include a range of technical dishes. So maybe a fish dish, a pastry dish, a pasta dish, making sauce, making bread. 
also add details of nutrients contained within the dish. And also make sure, importantly, that you add technical skills. So I've just discussed that S1 to S12. You could write in the letters and the, and the numbers. AQA would understand why you have done that. But this student has chosen to, to actually state that they would be making the pasta using a pasta machine. This table shows you the difference between basic, medium and complex skills. So if you want to get maximum marks in your coursework, you will need to complete dishes that are complex, such as here French apple tart and pavlova, also tart to citron. If you just make basic apple pie using ready-made pastry, you will not get such a high grade.